This is 7880 High Street. A um, couple of things to look out on this shop front. The first one's out of interest more than anything else. The building was owned by the sign painter um, Crichton's, and you can still, if you stand back from the building, you can still read Crichton's name in the shadow on the lintels above the windows. You can also see, if you stand further back from it, it's much more convincing. This trump by um, replication of rusticated astro, so it looks like it's got massive joints in the stone, and it's not, it's all flat. So that's interesting. The real reason that I'm looking at the building this time, though, is to start looking at what happens at ground level. And type centres have um, an accretion of surfaces on surfaces, and they tend to creep upwards. Um, if you look at Rome, I suppose, is a classic example. You would never have known in Rome 200 years ago, under your feet, there was going to be metres and metres of accumulated rubble with buildings underneath them. Well, this is happening on a lesser scale here, so the pavements come up a bit. Um, a couple of problems very specific to these types of buildings that that causes. The first one is ventilation and to most of these properties, particularly the later 19th century ones. Um, is really essential to the internal health of the building. It keeps air flowing through underneath the floor. As the ground level builds up, these vents can often get blocked. Sometimes they're deliberately blocked, sometimes even worse, the pavement level comes up and allows water to pour straight into the building. It's something always to, to look out for whenever any work's being done outside. And if you have a damp problem inside, it, quite common to find that the cause of it is blocked ventilators or ventilators that are now too low. The second issue with the low level here is this deterioration of the stone. Um, very common to find that sandstone, particularly around here, deteriorates at low level. It's, suffered, it's suffering from more um, change in wet to dry. And it also gets all the, the nasties such as dogweed on it. Um, but particularly during the winter time, um, pavements are spread with salt. Salt gets into the stone, it crystallises, it forms little crystals and it blows the stone apart. So again, this is not too bad an example, but it's not unusual to find that all of the stone below window levels or stall riders and chalk fronts is completely shot and it's as a result of that excess movement of moisture.